Have you ever wondered if there are proven ways that you can monetize your expertise as an educator, a teacher, a counselor, a school psychologist, a principal into entrepreneurship? I'm Julie Alstrup, and this is Educator to Entrepreneur TV. I don't know if you know this, but the Pew Research Center recently said that 30% of educators are considering leaving their jobs. And here are some of the reasons why. These might be your reasons, you might have other reasons. Workload and stress, compensation and financial concerns, lack of support and autonomy, classroom management, professional and personal development, or maybe lack thereof, and work-life balance. So we are here to talk about ways that you can monetize your expertise to get out of what it is that you don't like into what you do like so that you can live a life of your dreams and your highest calling. So the first thing that we can talk about, and there are many, many different ways to start a service-driven business. I'm going to share 10 of them with you today. And I started my career as an entrepreneur very different. I started as a service-based business as a photographer. And that is generally a business that people find very difficult. And I doubled my educator salary. I had 20 years of experience and a master's degree. I doubled that salary in three years. And I can help you do the very same thing. Anyway, first things first, let's talk about those 10 things that you can do with your education, your expertise, your skills, knowledge, and wisdom as an educator. One thing you can do is create and sell online courses. There are a lot of different platforms that you can use, and you can have your content reach a global audience. You can find out something that you're passionate about. Identify what is your niche? What is it that you love? What is it that you're really good at? And develop a comprehensive content plan and start earning income. It can be passive or it can be active. Create something that's quality and you can attract and, attain and retain your students. Now, speaking of your students, you'll also want to identify who is it that you wanna serve? Do you wanna serve educators? Do you wanna serve students? Or do you wanna serve a completely different population? If you're interested, we can hop on a chat after this call and you can find out more about getting that clarity that's going to really help you monetize your skills and expertise and turn it into an incredible business so you can have a life that you love and a business that you love. Another opportunity is to offer private tutoring or coaching. You know, that's something that you can do with the um, brilliance of Zoom using online platforms or you can do it also locally. So that's an option as well. Again, identify what you're really good at, what you're really passionate about. Is it a content area? Is it social emotional learning? Or would you like to teach teachers something? Think about that um, private tutoring and coaching as an option as well. Now, the third thing is to sell educational materials. You know how to create educational material. That's one thing that I know about educators. So you can use a website like Teachers Pay Teachers to monetize lesson plans or that kind of thing. But you can also create content, sell on Amazon, sell on your own platform, and create an impact and an influence using all of the knowledge that you know. The fourth thing is to develop a membership site. This can create a steady revenue stream, offering exclusive content, webinars, community forums, even a group Facebook page. And you can do that in a subscription-based model. Again, that is a way that you can create more community, create a dedicated learning environment, and create a lot of value for your members. Okay, the fifth thing that we're gonna talk about is writing and publishing educational content. You can do eBooks, guides, you could do anything from um, creating a classroom that's technology friendly to 
how to help students get into college, working with a very specific content area, you can create something that will create passive income for years and years for you in your entrepreneurial journey. So the sixth thing that you can look at, and, and I'm not suggesting that you do one of these things or only these things. These are just six different ways or 10 different ways totally that you can monetize your expertise. I'd also love to hear your ideas about ways that you, if you are an educator that's become an entrepreneur, how have you leveraged that expertise outside of the classroom? So number six is hosting workshops and webinars. This is a great way to engage with people real time. You can do it on YouTube. You can do it on LinkedIn. You can do it on Zoom. Charging a fee for attendance, and we're going to talk about in one of our upcoming episodes, how much to charge, what does that look like, all of those considerations. But you can provide deep value for people who are really interested in what you have to offer. So it can be really interactive. You can also host these um, locally at your Chamber of Commerce or other business groups in your area. Again, if you'd like to talk about those, feel free to hop on a clarity call with me. Number seven would be consulting services. If you have worked in a specific area, I have some friends who have been IB teachers and instructors and leaders for years, and they offer consulting services around the world, leveraging their expertise to assist in educational institutions. I know other people who have created businesses to support businesses and individuals. Because again, as educators, you have so many skills and so much talent. It could be curriculum development, it could be training, it could be research and development. Any of those things can be consulting services. So number eight is starting a YouTube channel or a podcast. This is a great way to share content for free. That's what I do here. I'm doing it every weekday. And you can get sponsorships. I do not have sponsorships at this point, but you can also share and reach more people giving value and creating an opportunity to grow an audience of people who really get to know, like, and trust and want more information from you. Now, the ninth thing that you can do, we're closing in on number 10 here, is to create a blog or a website. Now, a, a blog or even Substack is a place that really helps you identify your online presence. That's a place where you can share your content. It's where you live. It's your home base, attracting your audience and sharing what it is that you have to offer. Of course, having a Google business page is another part of that, a blog, a website, and your Google business page is really pow are all very powerful ways to get you in front of the right people. And now the last thing, or no, it's the last thing in my list. Like I said, I would love to hear from you what other things you've done to expand your influence, impact, and increase your income as an entrepreneur, as a former educator. But the last thing that I'm gonna share with you today is to license your content. You can license content to organizations, to educational organizations, to businesses, and it can provide a steady income stream and expand your impact within the educational community. So really, those 10 different ways that you, they're all going to be in the notes in the episode description. The, those ways are just the tip of the iceberg. If you are ready to create a life and a business that you love based on your skills, your knowledge, and your wisdom, and you can align those with the people who you really want to serve. You can start with one or two strategies. You can start with a clarity call with me that also comes with a free clarity workbook. Just click the link in the show notes and I will share those. 
with you. Make sure you like, give us a thumbs up, share this with somebody who you feel really would benefit from it, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much. I'm Julie Ulstrup. This is Educator to Entrepreneur TV. Thanks so much for tuning in.